OMGBG! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Beyblade Geeks video. Today we have this epic Hasbro set for you guys. It's the brand new Infinity Brink Stadium set. Sick. So look at that guys. Um, this all new design with the stadium. Look at the back over here. We have two Beyblade, two launchers and that stadium. So we always tell you guys Hasbro is on point with the stadium designs. This is uh, no different. We have the green design stadium. This got like four of these circular curves on the sides, and it looks pretty awesome, guys. Um, we have the brick area, the battle ring, and the vertical wall. So I'm super looking forward to unboxing that stadium. Uh, now it also comes with two other bays. So two bays we get is Wizard Lunior L5. So it's a less spinning bay, and then we also have Sword Dragon D5. So. A couple like boosters, recolors, looks pretty cool. Um, the wizard Lunier looks pretty interesting. It's like two dragons combined together in that uh, cool gold and blue colors. Yeah, so, it's actually a sick color combo there. Yeah, and the driver actually looks pretty sick too. The silver, like a titanium color, THO3. So I'll take a look at the stats here. We have wizard Lunier L5, which is a uh, stamina type it looks like here. The driver does have a five in drop-in frequency, so hopefully it goes hard in the stadium. Yo, that's an interesting mix. Stamina layer with that, uh, you know, super aggressive driver. Really wants you to customize, probably. And then the other guy here is an attack type, Sword Dragon D5. Uh, the driver, on the other hand, is more of a balance because uh, it drops in with a three in the stats, and then the runtime is also a three. So, what do you guys think about this battle set so far? It looks pretty sick, right? Before we get started with opening up the product make sure you guys are subscribed and click on that bell notification icon so you guys don't miss the next video it's unboxing time so the thing about this box is actually pretty light you can feel the majority of it is the stadium but this part is kind of hollow it's all air it's like, yeah it's like a bag of chips <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly it. that's it does it just well, the stadium i actually really like the newer designs of the stadium the new designs, you just like pop it in. Whereas the old ones, you need to use clips and, and all these different parts. And sometimes you lose the clips and uh, then you're like GG, you know? All right, so in this part of our box, we get everything else. Got the base here, the stadium is already here. We have the ripcord launchers. No. Nice. No clips required. Yo, it actually looks so cool. Yo, sick color too. Loving that. It's like a clover green stadium. Oh, I That's, like that because you because it looks like a clover yeah, too, man. huh? Yeah, They should have just like said it was a clover stadium. All right, the lid on top. Is it? Yep, this way. Yo, that was actually so easy to put together. It took less than ten seconds. The clips actually just like go on so easily. Um, so first impression, you know, you got the lid on the top, you flip it around and you can put it together. Um, what's cool, other than the clover leaf shape that we talked about just now, so a bunch of areas for your base to go crazy, um, the middle portion actually has two circular rings. So there's really no pockets around, um, except you can still fall out from the sides. Um, and also on the top of the you know vertical walls on the brink so once you climb up the vertical walls you also can reach this little dip area so there's like two points here interesting i don't know what they're for but i guess when your base land on those it could stay there and that way there's less of a chance of it dropping down that quickly so i think that would be cool to see how that would change the game all right now let's take a look at the base like it comes with so these are the two hasbro bays um, let's take a look at the Wizard Lunar L5 first because uh, I like that design a little bit more. Um, the blue and yellow color reminds me of some of the like Metal Fight Bays for some reason. Uh, does that do the same for you guys? So let me know in the comment section below. So there you go, we have Wizard and Lunar. The next bay we have is Sword Dragon D5 of D06. Dang, this is like legit the first season of Beyblade Burst when this disc was introduced. So, um, not that great, guys. But it's okay, that's why you gotta customize, right? And then for the performance tip, we have TH02. 
So the TH-02, because it has a little bit pointier performance tip, it's probably gonna drop in less than the Wizard Lunar L5. Okay, let's just do a test spin first with my Sword Dragon right spin. All right. How is it gonna go? Oh man, it's just chilling there. Oh. Barely moving. So the uh, center battle ring with the ridges, see? It kind of follows the pattern, so... It's keeping you in. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see more, like, attack going on in the stadium to really determine how it's like. Okay, battle time. Three, Three two, two, one. Ooh. Oh, that's cool that it goes, like, up and then back down and then up on the other side. Yeah. Oh, bear, you barely won that. Yo, that was, like, it can go from one of the clover to the other. Yo, it was legit like, like skate park style. Yeah, <laughs> that was right. sick. Three, Three two, one. one. Oh. Let's go. That's cool. When they are like opposite from each other. Oh, yo, I think I won that. Nice. Yeah, they were like opposite from each other and trying to like attack for the center spot. That was cool. It's cool that the set gives you one left spin and one right spin. You get to compare. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> oh, we're like both kind of like trapped in the center there. Oh. Yo, imagine having four bays in this uh, stadium. <laughs> Four bays, each one in a different clover, yep. clashing in the middle. Oh, wow, that would be unreal. That would be cool. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> Yo, Sword Dragon like went up past the vertical wall and almost got knocked out, but came back. No, no, that attack. Oh, oh wow. It made, it made a comeback. And you know what? These bays that uh, the, the set came with is actually not that aggressive. So. I think uh, if you know customize and use other bays, it could even be crazier in the stadium. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Self destruct. <laughs> and I did a crazy launch. I hit like the, the basically like the walls over here from the lid, and then land in the stadium. All right, you're still burst. like full. Oh, that was an epic launch. <laughs> nice. That was fun. I like the clover design. And of course we can scan the Hasbro products into our app. So yeah, let's the scan the stadium. Be sick. So digital Ooh. infinity brink base stadium. Alright, might as well scan in. What? What you scanned in Sword Dragon? And why did it give me Wizard Lunar L5? <laughs> what? I'm confused. That glitch though. No. Is it a glitch? <laughs> That's so weird. You guys yeah. saw it, right? I scanned in uh, Sword Dragon. And then it's funny because like, you actually have to battle with Wizard Luinor. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, Yo, not exactly the bay you wanted, but <laughs> enough. It was the bay we needed. Just thinking, like, are we tripping? So let's scan in like, Sword Dragon again, alright? This is another phone. And look at that! Uh, yo, they mixed up the QR code stickers. Yo, somebody's getting fired. Hasbro, <laughs> who are we blaming here? Well, it doesn't really matter. If you buy this set, you get both bays anyways. It's not the same QR code, man! Yeah, it's actually whack. So if we want to offer you guys the QR code for Sword Dragon, we actually have to give you our wizard Luinor. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I think this is the first time that I've seen it like that. Yeah, where it's like completely mixed up. Oh well, at least we have both still. If you guys want the code, here you go. Alright guys, so that's the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. That was the unboxing of our Infinity Brink battle set, including this awesome stadium. Um, so price-wise, I think it was like 40 some dollars Canadian for these uh, bays and the stadium. I think it's worth it just for the stadium alone, to be honest with you. Um, I actually really like the stadium. So stay tuned for more battles in this Hasbro Bay Stadium. Um, can't wait to you know, battle some Tikaratomi bays with it. So. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, peace, peace out. out.